Hey everyone, today we've got six things that sound like they must be wrong, but nevertheless are true. Let's go. Number six. The Carmen line is 100 kilometers above sea level and is the boundary between aeronautics and space. It is located at an altitude where the atmosphere can no longer be used to lift a flying object. However, this line is only theoretical and not actually the boundary between our atmosphere and outer space. In reality, we cross the outermost layer of the Earth's atmosphere at an altitude of about 690 kilometers. That's from the thermosphere to the exosphere. That makes it a smooth transition to interplanetary space Number five, our planet's surface is covered in 71% water. In the enormous depths of our ocean, sunlight can only penetrate 200 meters. This means that despite sunlight, most of our planet is permanently dark. Number four, everyone knows that our planet once consisted of a larger ocean and one single continent, which has drifted apart over millions of years and become what we know so well today. However, scientists believe that in about 250 to 300 million years, all those continents will reunite once more and form a supercontinent called Pangaea Ultima. Number three, the driest place on our planet is interestingly not the Atacama Desert in South America, but the Antarctic Dry Valley known as McMurdo Valley. This place is also known as a hyper-arid polar desert. This means that the precipitation here is less than the evaporation, so it's no wonder that they only get between 3 and 50 millimeters of rainfall each year. Number two. Like in Germany, many countries begin their state receptions and events by ceremonially having the military shoot a cannon into the air. But what actually happens to the ball? Even if today they don't actually shoot with real ammunition, which is for a good reason, there was a time where they would shoot something into the air and it was a great danger to everyone nearby. If the cannonball shoots out of the gun at 13 seconds per kilometer and then 42 seconds later it lands once more at 350 kilometers per hour on the floor, that speed is certainly enough to kill a human being. And finally, number one. Mount Everest is not actually the biggest mountain in the world. In fact, the Himalayan monster that sits at about 8,848 meters is actually just a little hill. The Mauna Kea in Hawaii is actually 10,203 meters big, which makes it 1,355 feet higher. However, it's only 4,205 meters above sea level. The rest is below. So while Mount Everest maintains the title for highest mountain, it's definitely not the biggest. Okay, well I hope your mind was blown by some of these cool facts and then if you liked them, why not check out another video or subscribe. Until next time, bye.